Welcome to episode 5 of Action RPG Game in Unity. Enemy Life Bar or simply HP Bar. In last episode we have introduced a way to attack enemies, but it lacks a visual feedback. So today we want to introduce an HP Bar, which will show the current amount of health our enemy has. So select the selected object name. Let's rename it and rename canvas to be more clear of what it does. Create an image to represent the base for the bar. Then copy this image to create an exact copy of the same size of the base and parent it to the base. Then resize it a little to make an actual bar inside the base. Base is more of a background for our bar. Recolor the bar to be red. Let's move text so it will be more in the center of the bar and make it fit better by resizing it. Let's make it bold. I think that good for now. Good. So for the next step we need what is commonly known a white pixel object. It is exactly this, 2 by 2 pixels size picture of white. I have created mine in Paint.net. I will post the link uh, in the description to download it. But you can make your own in few seconds in programs like Paint.net or Photoshop or whatever. Just save it in PNG. Now let's use this pixel as an image for the HP bar. And this will allow us to set the bar as a field image. We can use this field image as our HP bar by modifying the fill amount, like this. Good. Create and add a new script to the base called UI pool bar. Open the newly created script. Here, to set the bar state, we need to cache it first. Actually, let's just simply make it serializable and reference it through Unity. Good. Now we need to reference the pool 
we are going to monitor and show in on this bar. So create variable for the value pool. In the update we need to calculate the fill amount of the bar. Fill amount is normalized variable between 0 and 1, which represents the current value of the pool based on the max value. To achieve this we will use mass f inverse lerp, which determines where a value lies between two points. To make sure that we are not trying to calculate anything, if target pool is null, introduce an exit gate. Because trying to calculate anything while our target pool is null will cause an error. Good. Now we need a way to set the target pool, so create a new public method called show, with target pool as a parameter. Assign a new target pool to this component target pool. And introduce clear which will nullify the target pool on this component. Good. We have our UI pool bar. Now we need to start using this component to show the life of our enemy we are currently attacking. Open interact input. Here we catch the object we are hovering over with our mouse. Right now it has a small inefficiency I would like to address. We are calling check interact object every frame and inside we post name of the object on the screen. Every frame even if the object haven't changed. So if objects haven't changed, we post the name of the same object, which is unnecessary. So we want to update text on the screen only if object we hovering over have changed. Let's extract the process of update into separate method. Good. And create a new variable called current hover over object. Then in the update check if the current hover object is not equal to the new hit object. To detect change of the hover over object. When it changes we should update text on the screen. Let's test this. It should work the same as before. We will address size of the text later. Good. And now let's use the HP bar in the interact input. I know it is not the best practice what we are doing in this episode right now, but in next episode we will refactor this part. Get the character. And then call and create a new method called updateHPBar.
to update the bar we need to reference it, so create serialized field for the HP bar. Now we want to call show on the HP bar. And we need to pass the live pool from the character. To do this, we need to make the live pool to be public on the character. And if we haven't selected any character in the game, we should clear the HP bar. Let's test this. Assign the reference to HP bar and launch the game. If I hover over the enemy and attack, we should be able to see HP bar working. Let's hide bar when we clearing it up when we are not hovering over the character and show the bar if we hovering over the enemy. Good. Good, this is it for this episode. Special thank you to Andrew V. Long, Fari Pese, and this old Hashdu for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.